So once we've patterned the hip hinge, which is again bending from the hips while sparing the spine, we can start to load that pattern even he more heavily than we were with the, uh, with the kettlebell good mornings. So the first step I would really take with most people would be to teach them how to deadlift property, properly. As the name suggests, deadlift, you're picking up dead weight off of the ground. So, I will step over the kettlebell. If you were to look at my feet, the arches of my feet are in line with the handle of the kettlebell. I'm going to unlock my knees, and just as if the wall was back behind me or I had that dowel running along my spine, I will stick my butt back. Now notice, just doing that alone, I can't get to the kettlebell quite yet. So I will bend my knees the rest of the way, take the kettlebell, squeeze the kettlebell handle. I might straighten my knees just a hair until I feel my hamstrings come under tension. My chest is tall, my shoulders are pulled back, and I pull the kettlebell into my thighs. And then I return it down to the ground in the exact same way. So butt back, knees unlocked, and setting it right between the arches of my feet. And that's a kettlebell deadlift. Again, there's multiple ways that we can progress the deadlift. We can do it with barbells, we can do it with tons of different implements, and you can get very, very heavy with it. Um, but this is probably one of the most logical starting spots for most people, especially in the general population.